Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be talking about what my living ex my living and what I spend in a day as a 21 year old living in the Philippines. So just a bit of context. I'm from the Philippines, I was born here and at the age of seven I moved to the UK, lived there for most of my life, and then recently, around last year, June, I came back here to grow the business, to personally develop and just start off on a new leaf. Okay? So I know you guys are curious about what living in the Philippines is like. I've gotten a couple questions about it. So today I'm gonna to break down my living expenses, my costs. Bear in mind, this is how I live and this is what I'm spending per day. It might differ for you. It might be more, it might be less, but just to give you guys an idea, this is what I'll be making today's video about. Okay, so make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, and let's just hop on the whiteboard. Let's get straight into it. Peace. Okay guys, so we're gonna get into the breakdown. I'm gonna put it on the whiteboard so it's easy to visualize on how much I'm spending per day at the moment as a 21 year old in the Philippines. Now, from day to day, it fluctuates. We're gonna get to the list here, but just so you know as well, it's not gonna be exact. From day to day, it does fluctuate. Sometimes I spend more, sometimes I spend less, but this is gonna be average on around a 30 day time span. Okay, so let's start with the food and drink. With food and drink, I am roughly spending around 1.5K pesos or $26. Now, in terms of food and drink, I barely do groceries. I barely cook myself. The only thing I'll cook for myself really uh, is six eggs. Like it's, it's one of my rituals to have six eggs per day. But honestly, I'll either just get delivery, I get food delivered via Grab, which is basically like the Uber of Philippines, or I'll eat out, which is most of the time, okay? I know it stacks up, I know it's pretty pricey, but for the sake of convenience and for having good food, this is what I'm choosing to do, okay? I don't wanna waste time cooking like a couple hours per day. That's not for me anymore. I can cook, that's the thing, but I choose to eat out or I choose to get food delivered to me at my doorstep. So 1.5K pesos, which is the equivalent to $26 per day is what I'm spending. I usually eat around one. I, well, sometimes I've been eating one times per day, which I'm not proud of, but sometimes I'll, most of the time I'll try to eat like three times a day, sometimes four, sometimes two, but three times a day is the goal. So if you imagine around 500 pesos per meal on average, then this is what we got here. Also keep in mind that I do have a girl, so I will pay, obviously. <laughs> That's not even a question. I will pay for, for her meal. So yeah, 1.5K pesos is a bit more expensive than you know if, if you didn't have a girlfriend, but that's how it is. So food and drink. Now going on to the next point, which is groceries. Like I said, I barely do groceries. So 100 pesos per day, which is around $1.70 per day. Again, it doesn't sound like a lot, but this is average per day. So 100 pesos per day. If I am gonna get groceries like today, I went and got supplements, so I dropped around 3,000 pesos on that, which is more than average, but I, groceries I consider supplements, I consider food that I'm gonna cook for myself, etc. Okay, so we're pretty low on the groceries margin. If you definitely, if it's flipped around for you, so if you prefer to cook more rather than eating out, then this is gonna be flipped around a bit more, and I imagine you're spending less as well. So going on to the rent as well now, this is gonna surprise you but the amount I'm spending for rent is zero. Now, let me explain. The reason why I'm paying zero for rent is simply because I'm staying in my tita's condo. And tita means uh, aunt, auntie in Tagalog. I'm not staying with her, I live by myself, but I'm spending zero because she allowed me to stay in her condo, which I know everyone doesn't have that privilege. I'm like an exception to this. And I'm always gonna be grateful for it because this is, like imagine living somewhere for free, not having to pay rent, all right? So zero pesos on the rent. Thank you, Tita, shout out if you're watching this. Um, with that being said though, guys, I will be moving out soon and you can probably expect this to climb up. Um, and just to give an idea, rent in BGC, which is one of the best places, if not the best place to live in Manila, is around 40 to 50K pesos per month. And assuming this is a one bedroom, this is the average in this city. If you live somewhere else, it might be lower. If you live somewhere else, it might be higher. But if we're talking about BGC here, you're talking about 40 to 50K pesos, which is around 700 to $900 per month, which is actually still pretty good considering what you get. So if we divide that by 30, you'll get the number. And then I could put it here once I moved, I can make an updated version. 
but right now I, really, I literally don't spend money on rent. The utilities is what I'm spending on, like Wi-Fi, gas, and water, but rent, zero. So I'm very fortunate to be in that position. And once we move, this is gonna climb up drastically. Um, I'm gonna, I can make a whole tour video as well if you guys want it. So just comment if you want it below once I move in. So in terms of utilities now, speaking of that, 243 pesos or $4.23 per day. Like I said, I'm paying for Wi-Fi, I'm paying for water, and I'm paying for gas, that's electricity, okay? A big thing here in the Philippines, if you don't know, is aircon. It's a very hot country. You're gonna want aircon on most of the time. So that's gonna be the bulk of the utilities here of what I'm paying at the moment. Now, in terms of transport, what I usually spend is 600 pesos per day or $10.45. There are two ways you can get around in Manila or in, in basically in Philippines. It is by Joyride or it is by Grab. Now Grab, like I said, it's like the Uber of Philippines. Um, and it's still pretty good, you know, it, it's pretty cheap compared to the West. In the West, it'd probably be like $40 for a 15 to 20 minute car ride. But here, it's pretty cheap. But in terms of the Joyride, which is essentially a moto taxi, it's super, super cheap. You can, you can literally commute on that if you want to for around one to three dollars per ride. That's how cheap it is, guys, just to put it into perspective. So I'll do a mix of it. I mean, it depends on where I go. It depends on how, how I'm feeling, but usually I'll do Droid or I'll do Grab and it totals to around 600 pesos per day. So that's that. That's transport. Once you move to BGC, so another thing I want to say about BGC is it's a very walkable place. Um, most cities in Manila aren't very walkable, but BGC is very walkable, so my transport expenses will go down too, which is great. Now, the next thing is shopping slash wants slash luxuries, whatever you want to call it. It's things that I don't necessarily need, but I want to spend my money on, right? And this is actually, this is actually near the top of my expense list, just because, you know, I'm young, I want to enjoy life, uh, I want to live decently lavishly. Again, it depends on how you want to live, but this is how I want to live, so I'm breaking it down for you. We're doing about 1.5k pesos again, or $26, on shopping slash wants. Now, what do I mean by wants and shopping? I mean things like, like for me personally, I like to spend money on, on clothes. I like to spend money on like, new shoes, for example. Other stuff, you know, I, I don't know, because th this is mostly what I spend money on. But the thing I spend the most money on by far is cigars. Now, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys will know, like, like cigars is a big expense for me. And like, that's one of my vices. As they say, everyone's got to pick their poison. Everyone has a vice. For me, it's cigars personally. Um, some, it might be alcohol. Some, it might be like, a, like retail therapy, like clothes. For me, it's cigars. I enjoy a good cigar almost every day. Sometimes I, I don't smoke a cigar, right? But that's what I like to spend money on. And they are pretty pricey if you don't know, but it's about 1.5k pesos on average per day or $26. So that is me on the wants list, that's me on the shopping list and the luxuries. Now, if we get to the gym, I stay at, the, obviously at the condo there is a gym, so I just use that. I don't pay for a gym membership, but what I do pay for is a Muay Thai gym membership. So if you guys don't know again, I do Muay Thai Assuming we go around three times a week, the monthly membership will be this times three. So we're paying around $3.13 for a gym membership daily. I recommend you guys get into martial arts. I think it's a good experience. It's good for the, not for the body, not just for the body, but also for the mind and the spirit. So whether it's boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, whatever you want to do, MMA, I recommend you guys to try out martial arts. And I personally do Muay Thai and I love it. It's changed my life. I could make a video about it if you want, but check out my Instagram. I'm pretty, dick, I'm, pre, I'm pretty deep on the Muay Thai. And you know, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm nowhere near as good as these top guys who compete or even guys who, who do amateurs, but it, it, it's good for me. So 180 pesos or $3.13 I'm paying for Muay Thai. Now the last thing on the list is subscriptions. And that totals to around to 483 pesos or $8.41. Now, 
I run a business. If you guys don't know, I run a business, and you know, software is, is what I spend a lot of money on, or spend more of my money on to keep it running. So, for example, up here you see Skull, which is a community-based software where I can make my own group and have people in it. That is like ninety-nine dollars per month, and then we have things like Canonly, things we have like, like Loom, for example, which is what I'm using to film this. So. If you're an entrepreneur or you run a business or you're a freelancer, you're going to find yourself spending quite a decent amount on subscriptions, okay? If you don't run a business or do anything of that manner, then I imagine you're probably not going to spend as much on subscriptions. But if I had to take everything in this category, add it together and divide it by 30, this is what we're doing on subscriptions, around $8.41 or 48, 483 pesos. So, drum roll. What I am spending every single day on average, at my ripe age of 21, is, 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 third time, okay, fourth time, I don't know what's going on, I'm malfunctioning right now, 4.6k pesos per month, or I mean, I mean per day, or $79.92, basically $80, let's round it up. So per day, you could, you could expect me to be paying, you could, be expect me, you could expect me to be spending $8 per day. Now, like I said, for some of you guys who are watching, you're like, what the hell are you doing, man? Like, you should be wiser with your finances. What are you actually doing, man? Like, you need to, you need to chill out. And I know for others, they're, they're cool with this because they, they probably live the same sort of way and it's, it's fine, it's normal to them. And then for others, they probably live way more lavishly and they need to, and they're gonna tell me to set, step my game up. Okay, so. It's all subjective. I'm just going off of what I personally do. Obviously, there's things I could do like, like spend less on cigars, but you know that's up to me. Okay, I don't care. It's my life. So, 4.6k pesos per day, or $80 per day. I'd say that's actually pretty good, though. With that being said, that's pretty good, because if you're in the states, you'll find that you spend around this much anyway. Hey guys, that's the video for today. How much I spend per day as a 21-year-old in the Philippines, running my own business. And if you don't, if you're curious about my business, the links are in the description. Um, I run an appointment setting business. I run a coaching business where I help people get into appointment setting, which is one of the best ways, if not the best way, to get into online remote income. If you want to learn more about that, I made a video recently. Hey guys, a little bit of a different video today, how much I spend. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe. If you're new to the channel, once we're in a new condo, which is in the next coming weeks, I can do a tour and this is going to change too. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a lot? Do you think this is not enough? Do you think this is fine for a 21 year old? Let me know in the comments. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.